Hello, Marky Dragon, also known as Marcus Eikenberry in real life, and welcome to another episode of uh, Building a Computer. Uh, so there's one thing I forgot to mention in the last episode, which was uh, the hard drives. And so I've got uh, two hard drives, which are in my other machine here, which will be mounted in here. They're like this, they're three and a half inch hard drives, they're two terabytes each. Uh, they're both Western Digitals, and um, they will be uh, going into the system here. It'd be a total of four terabytes. Uh, I thought about, I actually have uh, another four of those drives from a server that I had. And, uh, and, and I've thought about, you know, maybe I'll put them in here together and, and put them into a RAID and stuff um, for a lot of data storage. Because I do do a lot of stuff with my old videos. Um, sometimes, you know, at the end of some of these uh, videos you've seen, um, you know, to where I talk about four different uh, uh, videos that are available and stuff. And, and um, you know, it depends on the episode. Sometimes I'll make that ending based off the content that's in the current video that I'm filming. And uh, so, but if they're on an external drive, then it takes forever to copy them over. Um, so it'd be nice to have a copy of all of them on my machine. Who knows? We'll see. So for this episode, we're going to do two things. One is, is I want to go over the tools that are necessary to build a computer. Uh, but also, we're going to look at the back side of this here and uh, look at the cable management and, and how to run the cables. So, okay, the tools that I have for this. One is, is that this, um, these tools right here, or these uh, parts right here, it's just a bunch of screws and stuff. They came with the case. And most all the mounting hardware that you need will come with um, will come with the case. So uh, I've got that, and then uh, for the most part, you only need a Phillips screwdriver. Now I have uh, this one right here, but I also have this bad boy for um, you know when there's a lot of stuff to screw in, and I'm able to set the torque on this um, so that. Uh, let's see, I can set it a lot lighter and everything. Let's see here. Is that, yeah, I can set it a lot lighter so that... See, I try and move it here and it doesn't. Um, so I can set it a lot lighter so that it doesn't over torque. And um, so I can set it where I need it so that it'll screw it all in but not uh, strip out everything. And this won't fit into everywhere, so that's where this comes in. But it's very nice to have something like this because we're going to end up putting in about 40 or 50 screws over the over this whole thing. So, <clears throat> okay, we're going to look at the cables here. And um, I've got a lot of stuff in here. And I've got uh, this whole bundle of joy here. Uh, so th there's a lot of, okay, so what we've got is the power switch in here. And we've got the, um, we've got, let's see, what all have we got? There's an enormous amount of stuff here. So, and this, uh, and one of these things seems a little bit hokey, but it's the way they did it, so I'm just gonna run with it. Um, okay, so we've got a SATA uh, data right there. Let's see here. We've got uh, power, which um, will go up to the, SA to the power up there. Let's see here, we've got uh, the headphones and microphone uh, stuff, which is, I believe, all on the front of this. Um, yeah, so it's up here. And I uh, oh, wonder what that button does. Hmm. I don't know. I never noticed it before. This is a power button. I don't know what that is. It's got like a, a little symbol that looks like AA. <laughs> the circle with the uh, triangle in it, pyramid in it. So we'll figure that out as we go. And uh, let's see, oh, power LEDs. Um, we've got uh, reset switch. Oh, maybe that's the reset. I'll bet you that's the reset. Another hard drive LED. Okay, so we got the data cable there. This right here is USB 3. And, um, and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna end up running it out the back here and up into a USB 3 port uh, that is uh, on uh, the ex external portion of the motherboard. Um, and that's going to supply all of my USB ports up there, which um, one of them is USB 3 and the others are USB 2. Uh, so here's my on the motherboard USB connector. 
Uh, and uh, let's see, power switch, and then, hmm, don't know what this is. Ah, let's see, 2.0 USB 3. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe this is, uh, we'll figure it out as we go. There's going to be a lot of um, testing. I can tell you that when you get manuals for these things, that um, the man the, a lot of these things are made in China, and in China, they'll, they'll develop them in China, Korea, wherever. And um, they do a good job of them, but then they convert them into English. And English is a different direction than the Chinese. And so Chinese read, um, read from the back, what we consider to be the back of a book, to the front. And we read the other way around. And uh, so what happens is, is that they do this thing of... of you know, um, localizing it for English, except they uh, sometimes, and this is really funny, sometimes they get the pictures all exactly mirrored, exactly backwards, because not only do they go from the, the back to the front, but then they, they just flip all the pictures at the same time too. I don't get that why that happens, but it's something that I've seen quite a bit. Uh, so, okay, now I think that I'm gonna set this over here. That's over here. I don't want to knock them off of here. Oh, and uh, my cable management ties, my cable ties. Okay, so, trash. Um, okay, so I'm going to lay this down like this right here. And I'm going to pull this other panel off. And uh, this panel is um, going to allow us to an area back here that uh, we're going to be able to run some of the cables through. It also has an area where we can, um, and see, so pull that back. Do you see that? I undid the screws. I just pulled it back. And now I should be able to lift it right off of there. So, okay. Put that in a safe place because we're not going to put that back on until the very end. So, uh, I've, got, I've got this area back here that I can access all of the cables and pull them through these different slots up here and uh, and I'm going to figure out plugging in all these things here so the um, probably what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to install the motherboard next and just hold these cables out of the way to see where the motherboard lines up in here uh, it's going to be up in this upper section this is all open here so that we can get to the back side of the CPU area because there's going to be uh, a clamp that goes on the back side of the CPU uh, that's going to be for the cooling and uh, so we're going to want to have access to that. Uh, this, this is about as broke down on the, on the case as you want it. Uh, you don't need to take the whole front panel off. That is something you could do um, but I don't think it's necessary and all these fans are wired in here so you wouldn't want to pull all that out. Um, okay, so on uh, going over the last bit of cables here, I do have all of these power cables to the um, to these fans. And what's funny is I don't know where I'm going to get all these power connectors from. All these, you know, so I've got four power connectors here, and then. Over here, I've got another three. I mean, holy cow. You know, a lot of times these are controlled by the motherboard, but, uh, and sometimes they're directly off the power supply, but uh, I don't know that's gonna have this many connectors. So, we shall see. I'll get it figured out. I may have to order another, uh, another you know, cable adapter or something like that, but uh, we shall get it figured out won't be a problem. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I'm Marky Dragon. Take care. If you made it this far in the video, you may as well subscribe. That's what I want you to do. You obviously liked it well enough to watch it this far. So look at this. This is Frostmorn. This is Arun's Magic Sword. This room's magic sword is one that we're giving away as second prize to one of you subscribers just for being subscribed. That's all you have to do. It's subscribe 
and accept our messages or watch our videos where we draw for prizes. So this one is a, it's a really nice sword. It's uh, signed by some of the American uh, jam staff for Runes of Magic. And then there's the big boy here. I got it on my shoulder because it's so darn heavy. You know, the sucker is 16 pounds. Look at this. So it's a two-handed sword here, man. This is a beautiful sword. And we're giving this away when we hit 42,500 subscribers. It could be you. So just subscribe, that's all you have to do. We'll do videos selecting the winners and we'll send you a message in YouTube as long as you accept it. Just make sure you accept messages from us. To do that, put us on your contact list and you just add Marky Dragon to your contact list and then you'll be able to get messages from us and you'll have 30 days to get back to us when we send you a message or if we can't message you, you'll just be on video and you just gotta watch the video and then contact us. So anyway, if you made it this far, you really should subscribe uh, and I would appreciate it. So, that's all.